is a walking test with the Sony 16 to 55 2.8 G Master lens. I'm gonna put on a gimbal next, but I want to compare this with the 1018 on a Zhiyun Crane M2 because that one can handle that lens. This lens I actually need to use the Moza Ear Cross because the lens and camera is more than the Zhiyun Crane M2 can handle. So I'm using the A6400 which does not have in-body image stabilization as you can see by the background. I'm trying to hold it with two hands there and see if it's any better. Here's a walking test with the A6400 and the Sony 16-55 to 2.8G lens. Handheld without a gimbal, just walking a little bit slow, not super slow, at 2.8. The next test I'm going to do is on the Moza Ear Cross gimbal with the same combination of the A6400 and the 1655 2.8 to show the difference in the stabilization versus walking. And I'm holding it under the lens and actually uh, on the handle so I have a pretty good grip on it. But I can still see it's really moving around a lot. Then I'm going to actually compare it to the Zhiyun Crane M2 A6400 and 1018 to decide which one I like better. The Zhiyun Crane M2 weight limit wise cannot handle the A6400 and the 1655 2.8 so that's why I have to use a Moza Air Cross for that test. So it's a handheld pan keeping my feet completely stationary just rotating at the hips. Again, 16 to 55, 2.8 G lens on the A6400, unstabilized. So here's a test on the Moza Air Cross. A6400 Sony camera, 16 to 55, 2.8 lens. Again, on the gimbal. Next, we're going to do a walking test. I'm going to put these side by side with the handheld as well as a comparison with the. 1018 which has image stabilization in the lens. This is test 3, A6400, 10 to 18 millimeter stabilized lens from Sony. I have it set at 16 so it's the same field of view. Here's the pan shot that I did earlier. I'm using the air cross for this test 3 to keep everything consistent. The last test I'm going to do is the 1018 with the Zion Crane M2 because uh, 1018 can handle that. Here's a slow pan. Now this is the A6400 1018 at 16 millimeters with the Zion Crane M2 instead of the Ear Cross by Moza Gimbal. Now this is a lot lighter setup. And I, again at the end I'll list all the weights for each one. So this is a handheld walking test with the 16 to 55, 2.8, 30 frames per second on the A6400. So there's no stabilization in the lens or in the camera. I'm shooting it in 4K, but I'm going to upload it to YouTube in uh, 1080p, just because that's what I usually do. It's really hard to hold it straight, especially on this line. So test two will be the same setup, which has no Im image stabilization, but on the Moza Air Cross, and that w that's my bigger gimbal, so that one can handle this camera and lens combination. I'm going to let it walk a little bit slower. I feel like I'm overcompensating for every step. So I just want to do the same test on each one. So this is at 16 millimeters, 2.8, 30 frames per second. 
straight right out of the camera. I'm not going to add any warp stabilization or anything else. I love the colors that this lens gives me, but with the A6400 and no optical steady shot, it has to be used with a gimbal for video. Almost at the end here, I'm just trying to do a long enough test of each. Just to give you an idea. And I'm just holding it under the lens on the left hand and the grip it under the camera on the right hand. So it's two hands of stabilization. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the center and do a stationary pan shot without the gimbal to give you a non-walking example. Here's a walking test with the A6400. The Sony 16-55 2.8 and the Moza Aircross gimbal. Give you an idea of how this looks on a gimbal. Because again, the camera and the lens are not stabilized. So the gimbal's doing all the work. Just at the center there. Actually, it looks really good on the screen with the gimbal for the stabilization, but also the colors really pop with this lens. I was just doing this a test to see if I'm going to keep this lens or I'm just going to go with the 1018 because it is image stabilized. I do believe I still need a gimbal with that one though because the camera, the A6400 doesn't have an in-body image stabilization. So if I have to do both, I'll probably use the 16 to 55 because I do like the actual contrast and color pop that this lens produces. It's early November in Illinois. It's like 40 degrees out, and it's about 3.30, so the sun's starting to go down a little bit, so the color should be actually pretty decent. Grant you, it's fall here, so uh, that was just hit the handle there. There's a walking test, A6400, 1018 image stabilized lens on the Aircross, Moza Aircross gimbal. Now the one thing with this lens is it's light enough with the A6400 that I can use the Zhiyun Crane M2. The 16 to 55 is too heavy for the combination so I have to use the Aircross which weighs about a pound more. I'll put all the the total weight of all the different camera lens and gimbal combinations because my main thing is to shoot as light as possible but still get decent quality. This seems to be working very well. Again the 1018 is set at 16 millimeters to keep the field of view consistent. Again this is unscientific. I just kind of like to do real world, how I use it when I actually go out and shoot a video versus doing uh, test patterns and that kind of thing. This is pretty much how I would shoot because I actually want to see weight wise. Is it worth to carry the bigger gimbal and the heavier lens of the 1655 2.8 versus the Zhiyun Crane and uh, 1018, which is image stabilized. Almost done with this one, which is test three. Weight-wise holding it, it's not that much difference between the lens because most of the weight is with the gimbal. It's just the uh, air cross is kind of overkill a little bit for the 1018. Okay, here's test four. 
A6400, 1018, set at 16 millimeters, shooting at 4K, 30 frames per second, with the Zhiyun Crane M2. So this is the only one that I could do with the Zhiyun Crane M2 because the 16 to 55 2.8 is too heavy. So here's our walking test. This seems like a pretty good vlogging setup. I also want to compare the uh, colors between the 1655 and the 1018. See, is it worth carrying the extra weight of the uh, the lens is one thing, the extra weight. But the biggest thing is I got to carry a much bigger gimbal for that combination. Where this one, it is so small and compact. I might put all four of these on one screen, so kind of line them up the best I can and kind of get an idea stabilization wise as well as the lens and which one works the best with the weight. So that's the end of the video test between the two lenses, two gimbals, and handheld. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe if you want to see more content like this and click the like button to help me out.